In this video, we'll walk you through the basics of the Marshalltown Duotex Texture Sprayer. The Duotex can be used as a texture sprayer or standalone air compressor. The components of the Duotex include the main unit, combination material and air hose, gun, and a variety of tips. First, let's cover the initial setup of your Duotex sprayer. Initially, let's set up the unit for spraying texture. Always make sure the Duotex is unplugged with the hopper and hose empty of all material. Next, we'll attach the air hose to the sprayer. There are two air couplers on the machine for spraying. We'll use the one on the left-hand side. Next, connect the material hose to the threaded coupler. Hand tightening this connection is adequate. Now, connect the air hose and the material hose to the gun. To change nozzles, unscrew the retaining collar and insert the new nozzle. Pressing on the gun's trigger may be necessary to allow the collar to fully tighten down. The assembly of your Duotex is now complete. Let's start by making sure the power switch is turned off. The air pressure regulator setting is dialed to spray and the ball valve on the gun is in the closed position. Turn the pressure down on the air and material flow regulators. Simply pull up on the dials, then turn them counterclockwise and push back down to lock them into place. Pour at least one gallon of clean water into the hopper. Prime the unit to push the water out of the hose. There are two ways to do so. The first method is self-priming. Dial up the material and airflow regulators and release a small amount of air out of the gun by slightly opening the ball valve. Aim the gun back into the hopper and wait for the water to begin cycling through. The second method is to use the prime switch. With the air and material flow dialed slightly up, and with the ball valve on the gun in the closed position. Press the trigger on the gun and aim it into the hopper. Press the prime switch to allow the hose to prime. Once the water runs down the hose, the machine will be primed. Continue to hold the trigger, allowing the water to cycle through the system several times. Once this is complete, empty water into a waste bucket. Mix your drywall compound in a five gallon bucket. A slow speed, high torque drill is recommended along with a suitable mixing paddle, like Marshalltown's 819. Once the mud is at your desired consistency, empty it into the Duotex hopper. After the first bucket is empty, prime the unit using the same method you used when wetting the hose. Before spraying, it's important to take time and dial in the correct mud and airflow consistency relative to the spray pattern desired. For more coarse patterns like knockdown, a higher mud pressure and lower air pressure will achieve the best results. For fine patterns like orange peel, a lower mud pressure and higher air pressure is desired. As mentioned earlier, the larger the nozzle in the gun, the coarser the resulting pattern. The gun has an adjustable air nozzle intended for a full trigger pull each time. Adjust the dial towards the front of the gun for more material flow and towards the back of the gun for less. Use the trigger lock for less hand fatigue on larger jobs. Before spraying on your wall, use a scrap sheet of drywall to adjust the Duotex to the desired pattern. Once the correct pattern is set, start two to three feet away from the wall or ceiling. Move in a consistent side to side or up and down pattern. Some contractors prefer a small swirling movement as they move along the wall or ceiling. Let's cover cleaning the machine. The Duotex features a sealable hopper lid which will keep your drywall mud wet while in storage for several days. Simply attach the lid and use the side latches to lock the lid on. Only drywall compound can be stored in the Duotex. The system needs to be sealed in order to keep the air from entering. So keep the gun and hose attached and keep the nozzles in the gun. Always clean drywall splatter from the exterior of the gun, hose, and machine. To fully clean out the Duotex, start by spraying all excess material into a waste bucket. Next, remove the retaining collar and nozzle from the end of the gun and clean them off. Pour several gallons of clean water into the hopper and spray into a waste bucket until all water exiting the gun is clear. Use a nylon or soft bristle brush to clean the inside of the hopper during the washing process. To clean the hose, 
Remove it from both the gun and duo tanks. Insert a sponge cleaning ball into the end of the hose closest to the machine. Connect the material hose back to the machine and pour a few gallons of clean water into the hopper. Turn on the sprayer and use the prime switch to move the ball out of the opposite end of the hose while flushing the water into a waste bucket. Rinse the gun in clean water. Making sure material is removed from the inside chamber, a nylon or soft brass cleaning brush can be used to remove material buildup from tight areas inside the gun, nozzle, and collar. Always flush the gun and its components with clean water after all material has been removed. A unique feature of the Duotex is its ability to be used as a standalone air compressor and power pneumatic tools like nailers, staplers, and even hopper guns. If you have a small amount of patchwork to do, simply use the Duotex and a hopper gun and be done in no time. To operate as an air compressor, make sure the unit is off. Connect the air hose to the coupler on the right hand side of the machine. Switch the air pressure regulator setting to compressor. Use the regulator dial labeled air pressure to control the PSI of your pneumatic tool. If you have any additional questions, consult the provided instruction manual or don't hesitate to call our friendly customer service department. Marshalltown, the leader of the industry since 1890.